So, full day of intuitive eating. We have our breakfast here. We have two egg half sandwiches, you could call it, and then a little bit of this triple zero yogurt left because this isn't quite enough protein, but it's almost enough protein, so we're gonna substitute in some of this zero fat Greek yogurt for the rest. And in a bit of an effort to make this video different, I will not be allowing myself to have anything I normally would have not that you guys would know exactly what that is, but I'll tell you what it normally would be because it's not intuitive if I just eat the same thing I always eat, so I have to switch it up purposefully and I'm gonna explain all my decisions. And as you may have seen in the title, this is a full day of eating on a rest day intuitively, so I know that I don't need my massive bowl of oatmeal in the morning like I normally would. I also been having some digestive issues, probably the volume of the food I am pushing is just too high, so we're gonna lower it. So I have two egg sandwiches here, so the two egg yolks are quite a bit of fat, but I have fat-free cheese and then a little bit of carbs coming from each slice of bread. This is not much food, but it will hold me over until my other meals of the day. Shooting for four meals and a high protein snack. So just because this is a rest day from the gym doesn't mean it's a rest day from life. I'm still gonna be doing things I'm gonna bring you along just so you can kind of gauge what I'm eating in relation to my activity level for the day because that is a huge component in learning to intuitively eat. You need to learn how much you're moving and how many calories you're actually burning doing that movement. And I mean, it makes producing the videos more fun. Made it back, workout complete. Says I burned about 300 calories. I was on the bike for 60 total minutes, but I wasn't actually biking because I had to take a bunch of takes of those drone shots that you saw, but definitely gonna be doing more of that. Had a ton of fun shooting that, but I know that I was on the bike for about 30 to 40 minutes, but I wasn't going as hard as some people may think that they're going. You know, when you're doing your cardio, you're probably not going as hard as you think, so I would tend to think that two to 300 calories, maybe 350 at the absolute most, is probably what I burned. Also, one quick little tip for those people that have trouble staying on track when they don't have a training day, because training days give a lot of structure to your routine, right? Like, you know when to eat, you're eating for a purpose, but if you don't necessarily have that purpose or have that vision or have that goal, it can be easy to really fall off track. So, for those of you people that actually struggle with that, and what I would recommend is having a cardio session or a workout that isn't necessarily weightlifting in your day and in your rest days, or just an event where you're gonna be burning some calories and fuel it like a workout, treat it like a workout. So, I'm gonna have my pre cardio meal and post cardio meal. Obviously, you don't have to be as big, but it can give you some structure in your day, gets you out of the house, gets your mind off food. So the time is about two o'clock, eight last at about 10, 9.30, which is way later than I normally would eat, but I actually have a haircut appointment to catch in about 30 minutes, so I don't have time to sit down and make an entire meal. And because I'm trying to make this different from what I normally do to actually make it intuitive and actually having to use my skills, not just eat what I normally would eat and kind of go on autopilot, which I think is the best policy. But anyway, we are gonna be going with some sardines because I'm actually out of all my other high protein snacks that I would have throughout the day. So this is one thing I'm gonna have. It's got 200 calories and 20 22 grams of protein, which is almost identical to a Kirkland bar or a Quest bar. It's higher in fat, lower in just chemicals and crap, which not that I'm against that, but this is a very, very healthy option. And uh, this is kind of becoming my food. For anybody who's watched the channel for a long time knows that I absolutely love these. They don't have skin, they don't have bones. They're not disgusting, they're really, really good. Most people who don't like sardines have actually never opened a can, so don't knock it till you try it. And uh, they're just super healthy. Hey, it's time to eat again. So for the next meal, we got the shepherd's pie. Haven't had this in probably two or three weeks, so not considered a regular part of my diet, although it probably will be coming back soon. The reason I'm having this is because potatoes are a very low carb option when you compare it to things like rice, when you compare it to things like bread, pasta, things like that. So it has the carbohydrates, it's a lot more filling, but comes with a lot less calories, and I find potatoes very satiating. Another thing is peas. For some reason, peas just absolutely wreck my hunger cues, and so peas are very filling for me, so I put a lot of peas and corn and gravy at the bottom, and then I have very, very lean beef, 96.4 beef for the protein for this meal. This is gonna be really good. It's gonna hold me over until dinner.
right, so for meal four of our intuitive eating day, we have some buffalo chicken topped with some green onion, some avocado for the healthy fats. And the chicken's actually rolled up in Frank's Red Hot, which is just cayenne sauce. Also has some 2% fat-free Greek yogurt, 2% fat-free, 2% Greek yogurt rolled up in there for some extra protein. And then we just have some potatoes that are lightly tossed in avocado oil. All right, it is that time of the night. We have reached the last meal of the day. Finally, we have a whole plate of egg whites. Now, normally, this would be egg whites with egg yolks, or it would be salmon, or it would be sardines. So I had sardines earlier in the day, and I didn't feel like falling out a filet of salmon, so I didn't do that. Just made some egg whites. Didn't have egg yolks, not because I'm against egg yolks. I clearly have them in the morning, but I just like to switch up my fat sources. So I figured I'd throw in a little bit more avocado in the form of guacamole, just because this is a great, healthy fat can't have too much of it. Well, you can, but you're not really gonna OD on these cups. And then we've got the bucket of popcorn. Now this is cheating a little bit. I normally do have this, but I haven't had it recently, so I feel like I can have it without totally blowing the challenge. And it is just a great pre-bed snack. But I have a few more things to finish up real quick before I do hit the bed and get that prescribed eight hours of sleep. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning for a recap. And that is a wrap on a full day of intuitive eating during a rest day. The ending macros for the day are gonna be sufficient protein, more than enough healthy fat, and enough carbs to, well, at least make me happy. And this is just another example I love to give on this channel about how I'm able to do it and how I believe that you can do it as well. I believe that this should be the gold standard for everybody eventually at some point in their fitness journey, and I wanna help you along that way to get there. There are many things to stress about in life, but worrying about hitting your macros every Every single meal should not be one of them. And with that all being said, I'm gonna end this video here. As always, my intuitive eating ebook is down in the description below. I recommend you go get that. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't read it yet, what are you doing? You just need to head over to that website, click that big fat button in the upper right. You can download it for free. I don't need your email. I don't need nothing from you. I just wanna genuinely help you out and try to teach you about intuitive eating. Other than that, drop me one of these down below. If you wanna see a full day of intuitive eating on a training day, I can certainly cover that as well. And my name is Kevin. It's been my pleasure to be able to bring you this video. Until next time, make sure you get out there and get after it.